you can have one minute uh, quickly introduction and then uh, start Hello. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we have our session today by Dr. Paulo. He is uh, now uh, he's he's been for two years with IIT, and uh, he has been a regular member. Now we are being promoted to be the vice president at IIT. Uh, he's been in XGM marketing and uh, into transactional analysis. He is an MBA marketing and finance uh, BPA in psychology and a PhD in philosophy. Uh, with this uh, short introduction, I would hand over to uh, Sir for today's uh, session on transactional analysis in organizational development. Over to you, Sir. Thank you, Jyoti. Thank you for taking out your uh, time out of your busy schedule. Thank you for your introduction. Well, friends. Welcome to you. You know, I am a transactional analyst. You all know that TA is theory of theory of uh, personality, theory of communication. TA is useful for in organization, education institute, psychotherapy and counseling. We are talking about TA in organization. So we talk about uh, three philosophical assumptions. People are okay. You and I have worth, value, dignity as people. We may be highly qualified or we may be highly rich, but it does not matter. As people, we have got our own value and dignity. Everyone has the capacity to think. We decide what we want. Whatever we are today, it is because we have decided to be like that. Third is people decide their own destiny by writing our life script during zero to six years. You know, in movie and uh, drama has got their own script. So the producer select uh, the uh, script, but in our case, we have written in our own script. We can examine and we can change it. Now when we come to organizational philosophical assumption, there are three important aspects that every employee is an intangible asset of company as well as nation, as well as world. Companies spend money on their education, skill and work experience. So by removing an employee, company lose, the nation lose and the world lose a skilled person. The assets of company owned by the individuals are national and global property. Owners are only custodians. Under utilization of an employee and assets of the company, it's a waste of the company, a national waste and global waste affecting national and global economy. So we have to consider all these aspects. Now, the goal of TA is uh, autonomy. There are three types of uh, autonomy, self-governance, include behavioral, emotional, and cognitive autonomy. In organizational configuration, a virtual organization linked by electronic form of communi communication, people are connected from the various countries, various states, various offices. So the electronic form is the communication media. Enable employees to become more autonomous, psychologically healthier employees. Now, there are four aspects to be covered in this today's session. One is personality ego state model. Well, friends, you all know that an organization means they are managed by the person and persons. Persons include employees and owners. Now, psychologically, we are structured as parent, adult, child. So we all started as children, Zero to six years is our child uh, life. 
at 7 we started developing our parent ego state we started copying our parents after 13 we have developed our own adult ego state here in now situation problem solving skill i just want to tell you when we are in organization there are times we have to be you know, as child ego state for example yeah, yeah. ஜிங்க instead of you know keeping the past things in the uh, mind or future always be in the present we should always have a problem solving approach Se second important aspect is communication communication means there are three modes are there transaction strokes and time structuring when we talk talk about transaction it is you know exchange of communication so when we communicate with each other it should be smooth and comfortable parallel transaction we should not cross it we should not use ulterior transaction with ulterior motto then in that case nobody get hurt you know you can go on uh, talking without you know having bad feeling when we talk about strokes it is actually appreciation positive and unconditional strokes for the job motivation you know an employee get motivated when you give him a stroke for example you are on a good job uh, you know you are smart i know you will do it so when you make this uh, um, strokes the employee get motivated and he will be willing to do the jobs of that boss again use principle of different strokes for different strokes now when we talk about structuring we spend about 18 week hours in uh, spending six ways they are withdrawal rituals past time activities game and intimacy i am not explaining this here again because it, we have got limited time but uh, withdrawal is nothing but you know there are time because we feel uh, we are scared of the people or we uh, we feel we are not very comfortable confident so we will withdraw rituals are nothing but you know uh, you know the routine that we do daily in the uh, you know day time past time is psychological games we you know we chit chat and we you know tea time or you know we go for you know uh, watching the some uh, you know small uh, activities on the internet so we waste a lot of time in uh, past time activities means you know real job activity games are nothing but psychological games and intimacy is free and frank friendship now we have to see record every day how we spend the time and we have to try and uh, restructure that uh, a day's time and a lot more time for activities collecting information working together you know supporting each other helping so if you give activity uh, a priority the productivity of the company will go up now we go to live script when we talk about live script every movie and drama has got a script so the producer select a script but in our case we write our own script but for the organization there is nothing like script it is a script of the people mostly in the company the script of the founder is implemented so we should avoid that because if uh, if the founder's script is implemented in the company it will be nothing but a reflection of his personal behavior now let's talk about four components one is winner and loser a person who had a happy childhood is a winner he has got options to win and he accept people around him and he accept the reality on the other contrary 
the people who had a very unhappy childhood he is a loser he is not confident he has got low self esteem he doesn't accept people around him but in organization we should have only people who are winners because losers sometime you know they harm themselves they harm others in various ways now life position is again a happy childhood makes you a high self esteem accept people around you and you know you have options to you know win whereas in the case of uh, and he feel i am okay you are okay he basically accept everybody and reality in the case of unhappy child uh, uh, people who had unhappy childhood they are a loser uh, they are losers non winners sorry uh, they are basically they feel either inferiority complex i am not okay you are okay or superiority complex i am okay you are not okay or you know a pessimistic approach people with uh, any life position that is uh, uh, attitude other than i am okay you are okay they are likely to damage the organization because every time they deal with people they hurt people the third is injunction when we talk about injunction it is don't do messages there are 12 to 16 injunction so because of lack of time i am not explaining all the 16 but i would like to discuss only one injunction that is don't be important in the childhood children are not given due attention they are neglected so a child feel that i am not very important for my parents in the grown up this person will not be able to take uh, leadership he feel i am not very important if you are asked him to speak on the stage he will not he will not be able to do that so we have to be careful as parents that we don't give any injunction similarly in the organization we should not uh, you know treat colleagues or uh, uh, juniors as small children don't give don't do instruction don't do that don't do this do this with with my permission we should have autonomy in each one of them and the last one is driver behavior driver behaviors are nothing but compulsive behaviors or here yeah, be perfect be strong no uh, those uh, compulsive behaviors. so we should not give compulsive behaviors commands now we have the fourth uh, analysis in our organization that is called psychological game now you see the picture here in the picture you see two people talking communicating but you see behind them they have knives that means though they are talking friendly but in reality they have something in their mind now basically ulterior transactions are game when you talk about ulterior transactions a transaction which has got a ulterior motto now people ask how do i know whether i am playing a game or not well there is a simple symptom if you feel bad after a transaction then you have played a game so we should be careful that every time we communicate with our people whether if we feel bad or whether the other person feel bad if you or the other person felt bad that means you have you have made a you have played a game okay now let's talk about the, there is a formula c is a, uh, communication g is gimmick that is a response s is called stimulus what the person reply and then there is a confusion and there is a payoff so the result of a transaction is uh, what you have uh, planned now you have a look at the drama triangle drama triangle there is a prosecutor rescuer and victim prosecutor is always find fault you know they criticize punish those people the rescuer is the one who try to help the victim and the victim is always you know he feel inferior and he feel inadequate so in both in day uh, corporate as well as in home we have this uh, psychological drama and uh, that we have to end otherwise we in organization we lose productivity it affects the economics of the company economics of the nation and economics of the world so we should be careful about that well friends now this is a small uh, session of 30 minute uh, i have a paid session coming up on november 25th to 28th 5:30 to 7:30 it will be either on zoom or google meet so those who are interested to attend uh, they can send me on my 
message on WhatsApp nine eight two two eight seven six one seven zero. Well, friends, as a human being, to survive in the family, we have to live and let live. In the organization, again, we have to live and let live. We have to support, or you know, we live with uh, colleagues as a give and take. and in the national level we have to accept all people at national level uh, then only we can accept our customers you know there are uh, you know we are divided by four region northern region southern region eastern region western region if you have got some dislike for the some region or some caste or some uh, language then we will not be able to you know uh, functional be functional very effectively similarly on an international level we must be accept all countries as one you know one community uh, whatever we produce it's a national economy but it is also a global economy so we should try and help uh, each other so that uh, uh, our company grow our nation grow and our glo globally we grow so this is very important so please uh, you know learn this uh, ta concept and be functional be effective increase the productivity increase the national economy increase the global economy so here i conclude my topic i now hand over to anjali for vote of thanks anjali thank you thank you paul sir that was a insightful and a very thought provoking talk we now know that we should analyze whether we have driver behavior or if we are communicating well or are we compulsive so we need to do some self analysis it was really a very beautiful talk i have a few announcements to make yes in iai3 we need some more contributions for articles for our e bulletin and this e bulletin is published every year and it's normally about emerging trends in education so we want different perspectives from all the people who are so talented and experienced in our group please do contribute for the e bulletin and we are also looking for speakers for 24th of november we will be so happy and grateful if somebody comes forward and takes up the knowledge sharing session on the 24th of november and i also encourage you to become paid members because this is a fantastic organization iai3 you can share your skills and reach out to thousands of people at the same time it's a family where people help each other and also there is a lot of friendship so thank you very much paul sir it was an amazing session and thank you all for participating have a wonderful evening yeah so this is uh, e journal is uh, every month uh, due to some technical reasons the october e journal is uh, slightly delayed it will be released on 25th and uh, uh, before we release this uh, journal we want to include the schedule of uh, knowledge sharing session so 24th is vacant please come forward and uh, uh, you know confirm your uh, participation so thank you all for participating today we had a small uh, number of participant doesn't matter but this uh, yes. this uh, all knowledge sharing session will be converted into a youtube video and that will be circulated so whether though there are only four participants here it will reach uh, you know on social media it will reach i don't know whether it will even you will reach a uh, lakhs of people so the presence here is not very important important is that we conduct this session and we share it on social media so the entire uh, universe all those who are on social media can watch it so thank yes, you for right. taking out your valuable time thank you thank you paul sir thank you actually i wanted to contact mangai for some iai3 work mangai are you there even i wanted to talk to people in detail i don't know whom to contact in iai3 i was you waiting can. to we just shifted to hosur so i was stuck up with my work i'll get back ma'am can i call you directly or uh, to the sar in uh, this number 9822 yes.
you can call paul sir you can call neeta ma'am jyoti ma'am and you can call mm -hmm. me also if you have my number because i am still uh, i'm i don't have clear idea on what is uh, happening in iai3 but it was uh, i'm always constantly attending this knowledge sharing session because i feel it's uh, something value adding to my learning uh, so that's why i constantly keep in uh, time to attend these sessions so i'll contact anyone of you to talk further thank you ma'am yes Yes, you're welcome, Mangai. Please contact, okay? Nita, ma'am. Actually, Dr. Ma Nita you know. will be. Excuse me, Dr. Nita will be. He's a busy person, so I. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that, I can uh, call you, sir. This number is yours, yeah. no? Yeah. Nine eight two two eight seven six one seven zero. Regarding. Yeah. Uh, I just noted this number. I'll give you a call after the session. Regarding uh, article and regarding e-journal, you can contact me or uh, Anjali because uh, we can give you guidelines. Uh, because. Mm. Uh, this is learning and sharing whatever we learn we share with others whatever mm. others share we learn so this is actually you know that's what we call it knowledge sharing session dr neeta has initiated okay. this iai3 for a very meaningful purpose you know this is a platform mm -hmm. where you get uh, you uh, get a chance to uh, showcase your skill and uh, when okay. it goes uh, when it become viral on social media many people see it many people contact you i got lot of opportunities Uh, through social media uh, you know for conducting my session so this is an opportunity okay. you get so you are welcome mm -hmm. you i welcome you to write articles I, i i welcome you to conduct knowledge sharing session would you like to conduct on 24th yes sir but i have to talk to you people on um, what would be the expectation on my uh, knowledge sharing now because i just wanted to talk to you what all content i do have or will it be really relevant or not so i just talk to you in person will be fine sir yeah sure okay. sure i sure. have to get some clarity yeah yeah, yeah. sure sure mangai uh, you leave your phone number with paul sir so yeah yeah sure now i'll type in the chat box so i'll contact him also i'll type in the chat you contact box. paul sir box yes yes sure yes yeah, please also on the line sota uh, do you want to talk anything we are expecting some uh, article from you and we are expecting some uh, knowledge sharing session to be conducted by you no sir no not yet okay okay doesn't matter but keep in mind okay so sir. so we have got the time is over so thank you for all thank you thanks i've done my uh, phone number shared in the chat box i'll contact yeah. you sir thank you yeah thank you yeah. bye have a nice day happy thank you bye happy bye dasara. bye happy bye dasara. Happy the Sera. Diwali. Diwali Thank still. You. I think we may meet before Diwali. Okay. Sure, sir. Thank okay, you. Okay. Bye. 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 bye.